Hey there, this is Coach Mike Ryan from the Fastball USA Training Center, and today I want to talk to you about uh, something I hear pretty often. My kid looks good uh, hitting in practice or hitting in the batting cage, but man, something happens in a game where things start to kind of fall apart. Um, now, there, there could be many reasons for that, but one of the obvious things I want to make sure that you understand, which is a bigger deal than most people think it is, is the simple fact when people are taking batting practice, uh, they're really taking swing practice, right? Most, if not all, pitches thrown in batting practice seem to be strikes, and he's swinging, and he's swinging, and he's swinging. So that's what I call swing practice, because now when you get into the game, uh, the major disconnection is this. You know, the pitcher, if he's pretty good, is throwing about 60, 65% strikes, which means you're looking at 40 to 45% non-strikes. So one of the glaring differences, and it's super obvious that's happening in a game, is the decision-making process of to swing or not to swing. So one of the simplest ways you could start retraining this or training the brain the way it's got to work in the game is changing up some of your batting practice, whether it's front flips or regular BP, and start to do what we call 50-50 batting practice. And 50-50 batting practice is where the pitter is going to see approximately about 50% of non-strikes or pitches that are outside the strike zone or up to 50%. And he's going to see about 50% or maybe slightly more of strikes hittable pitches. Now, the reason why I find that to be effective is because when you start misfiring pitches outside the strike zone, and then when a ball does come in the strike zone, it's all about is the hitter ready to hit? And I'm gonna say that again, ready to hit. Is he taking a strong, aggressive swing when a pitch does come in the strike zone? So if you think about it, if you don't have to make a decision, right? If you know your swing before the ball is out of the pitcher's hand and you swing um, and there's no decision making, that changes everything. But in the game, people are asking the players to get a good pitch to hit, right? They're asking players not to swing at bad pitches, uh, almost to a fault. And then once that starts to happen, when they have to decide between yes and no, then it creates a problem where they start to get indecisive or they start taking swings that lack aggression um, or they may start fouling pitches off that they don't need to. So I want you to think of this. The saying that we have in here is the greatest hitters in the world are what we call yes hitters. And what that means is they've decided that they're going to swing before that ball comes out of the pitcher's hand. They're committed to swinging might be a better way to say it, right? They're swinging until they're not swinging. So a yes hitter is swinging and decides the only decision to make is to stop the swing if the pitch is outside the area he wants to swing at. That's what an elite hitter will do. What the mediocre hitters are doing in a game is ball comes out of the pitcher's hand and they're stuck choosing to swing or not to swing and the result is we get indecisive swings, we get lack of aggressive swings or even freezing on pitches we should be swinging at. So what the 50-50 BP does is it keeps hitters um, in a sense, programmed to swing, okay? So what we're trying to do here is not necessarily train their eye at the plate. Matter of fact, not at all what we're trying to do. We're trying to make sure when he does get a pitch, he puts his best swing on it, a strong, aggressive, on-time swing when the pitch is in the strike zone during batting practice. Now, this, again, this doesn't have to be uh, a live pitcher. This could be a batting practice pitcher doing short toss, front toss, BP, where a hitter is seeing balls Outside the zone, maybe, for example, he sees the first one way up high, next one's in the dirt, next one's very hittable pitch that he should drive. Now, what you're gonna see for some hitters is even in that batting practice setting, it's gonna get harder because they're going to not be, they'll get caught sometimes looking for the pitch too long or being indecisive. So it's something you wanna train. Train the brain the way you wanna use it in the game. So I hear coaches all the time talk about, you gotta have a good approach, you gotta have a good approach and they'll get on their players about having a bad approach. However, my question is always this, how much time are the coaches and the players actually practicing the approach they wanna implement in the game? And one of the simplest things and the disconnects that I see in a game, people are asked to get a good pitch to hit, and in batting practice, we're swinging at everything, and or the pitches are all strikes and we're swinging at everything. And again, that's not training the brain the same way. So 50-50 BP, uh, if you can imagine, you get one outside, uh, maybe one high and one one in the middle. And then maybe you get two in the middle and then it's random, but roughly up to 50% of the pitches 
are non-strikes. And when you do get one, you got to take care of it with an aggressive swing. So when you get into the game, remember, to be in yes mode, I'm swinging until I'm not swinging means I have already predetermined I'm going to swing at this pitch. And if it's outside the zone or where I want to swing at, I got to learn to put the brakes on. It is much easier to stop than it is to go. So the hitters that fall into a trap of trying to decide between yes and no in less than a half a second, you're not going to put good swings on the ball because in less than a half a second, the decision-making process of to swing to not to swing is not a natural thing. But if you're in swing mode and all of a sudden you're like, okay, I just got to stop, that's completely different. So be a yes hitter, but train being a yes hitter during batting practice by implementing 50-50 BP into your practice. If you have any questions about this, shoot me an email fastballusa at hotmail.com. Also check out our website, fastballusa.com. This is just an example of how a simple batting practice session can turn into more effective and game ready. And I will say this, I know some of you out there are like, yeah, but we got to go get our batting practice in, coach. We got to get our swings in. I would rather, if you can kind of envision this, that a guy go in a cage and get three swings in that 50-50 BP mode, then go get 10, especially the closer I'm getting to game time or the season. In other words, if I go in and, and, I, and one is really low, next one's in, uh, hittable, next one's way outside, next one's hittable, right? And he gets three swings out of six pitches that are thrown to him. I'd rather have that than taking just 10 mindless swings in which is not preparing him for the game. Now, don't be wrong. There's nothing wrong with taking regular batting practice. But the closer you get to game time and you're trying to shift and get that mindset correctly, it's very important to implement things like 50-50 BP to get the mindset right. That way you can transfer the mindset that you're using in practice into the game and you have plenty of practice on becoming that yes hitter and, and understanding that I am in yes mode, I'm swinging till I'm not swinging and you can practice that over and over and over using the 50-50 BP method.